And I was the lad, I served a term as office boy to an attorney's firm. I cleaned the windows and I swept the floor and I polished up the handle of the big front door. I polished up the handle so carefully that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Divy. As office boy, I made such a mark that they gave me the post of a junior clerk. I served the writs with a smile so bland and I copied all the letters in a big round hand. I copied all the letters in a big round hand. I copied all the letters in a hand so free that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Army. He copied all the letters in a hand so free that now he's the ruler of the Queen's Army. In serving writs, I made such a name that an article clerk I soon became. I wore clean collars and a brand new suit for the pass examination at the Institute. <laughs> that pass examination did so well for me that now I am the ruler of the Queen. So I mean. Of legal knowledge, I acquired such a grip that they took me into the partnership. And that junior partnership, I ween, was the only ship that I ever had seen. <laughs> that kind of a ship so suited me that now I am the ruler of the Queen's Army. And now I am the I grew so rich that I was sent by a pocket borough into Parliament. I always voted at my party's call and I never thought of thinking for myself at all. I fought so little they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Army. You fought so little they rewarded me by making me the ruler of the Queen's Army. Now, landsmen all, whoever you may be, if you want to rise to the top of the tree, if your soul isn't fettered to an office stool, be careful to be guided by this golden rule. Stick close to your desks <laughs> and never go to sea. <laughs> and you all may be rulers of the Queen's Army. Stick close to your desks and never go to sea.